Hey guys, uh, welcome to Into Fly Fishing. My name is Pierre Joubert and today we'll be tying a clouser minnow. I'm just going to take you through the materials that we're going to use for the clouser. Um, we're going to tie a tan over white, so we'll be using tan and white bucktail. Uh, for the hook, uh, this is just a standard saltwater hook in a size 2 from a company called Grip. This is their model 21711. It's just like a chrome plated hook um, in a size 2. For the weighted eyes, we'll be making use of uh, small uh, tungsten real eyes. Uh, what's cool about these eyes is that they already have iris on the beads themselves. You'll see it when we tie them up. For the uh, thread, we'll be using Danville's 210 denier flat wax. I love this thread uh, for any salt water flies. Uh, for the bucktail, as I mentioned earlier, we'll be making use of uh, white bucktail for the underwing and then just a section of tan, or this is sort of a tan mustardy color for the overwing. We'll also be making use of some flash material that we'll put in the wing. This is red. Uh, this will just simulate a little bit of blood coming out of the gills. To secure the eyes, we'll be making use of super glue. And to finish the head off, we'll be making use of some UV resin. For the tools that we're going to use, um, First off, the vise. It really helps to have a, a true rotary vise as the fly will be turned around while we're tying the fly. To wrap the thread around the, the hook, we'll be making use of a bobbin. This is a J vise bobbin. Your preferred whip finisher will be perfect. Just some sharp point scissors, a UV torch secure the UV resin and then I like putting, adding some barring to the overwing. Uh, for that I'm going to make use of a brown Copic marker. So that's all the material and tools that we'll need, um, so let's get cracking. Okay guys, uh, to get started on the fly, uh, first take your hook from the packet uh, and just place it in your vise. Make sure that your shank is straight. Clamp it down, just make sure that it's um, secured properly. Um, on most salt water flies, you tend to pull this, the thread quite hard um, and you don't want the hook to move about when you do that. Um, okay, so first thing, just make a couple of wraps to secure your thread, then cut it off. Make Build the thread base for about half the shank. And leave your thread about a third of the shank behind the eye of the hook. Now place your chosen eyes on top of the hook and make about five or six wraps just like that to secure them. Then turn them by pushing on the opposite side and make a couple of wraps on that side and then just secure them with some figure of eight wraps. At this stage you can look at the fly from the front. Just make sure that it's level in a level plane. You can use the um, eye of the hook as a gauge. Um, at this stage, we'll be adding some super glue. Good. After you've put in a nice drop of super glue, just make a couple of figure eight wraps again. And then, you, you've, you, the th figure of eight wraps need to be pulled tight. So what we do then is we wrap the thread around the eyes without crossing them like that. 
by doing this, you're pulling all those fig pulling all those figure of eight wraps stood like this, you're pulling them tight against the eyes. Now the eyes are secure. Build the thread base to the back of the hook shank. You can measure that you want the um, the thread base to stop right where the um, bulb of the hook is. That's where you stop and then just run it back to in front of the eyes. At this stage cut off the desired amount of bucktail. Well this will depend on firstly the size of fly that you're tying and then um, the other the other factor would be how sparse or overly dressed you would want this fly. I generally like my clouses to be quite sparse. I just find them to swim a little bit better and they work better on um, fish that has seen a lot of flies. So that is a good amount for the tail. Now measure the length of the back tail, tail to be twice the amount of the, um, twice the length of the body. Plus a little bit because you'll be wrapping it over the eyes. So There. That should be good. Like that. Now pinch it with your opposite hand and make a couple of wraps, securing wraps like that in front of the eye. Then, while still holding your bucktail, move the thread over to the back of the eyes and pull the pull it tight with some thread. Now you have a nice head created here with a bucktail that's been folded over it. And then with some securing wraps, but quite far apart, you run the thread back. Every now and then just pulling a little bit. When you come to the base where you left, where you ended your thread base, you're going to secure it with a couple of wraps, like that. Now pick up the bucktail, make two wraps behind it, and secure it. That's it. At this stage, you can lift up the excess material at the front. Just cut it off. Like that. Now, with some sparse or widely spaced wraps, just go back to the front of the eyes. So this is a stage where you'll be flipping the fly around. Uh, as I said in the introduction, um, it helps to have a rotary vise, uh, so you can just literally flip it around. But if you don't have that, that's 100%. If you have a um, just a normal um, collet. Um, or, or, or something that can't flip around, that's 100%. All that you have to do is just remove the fly, with it, just keeping tension on the thread with your hand, remove the fly, turn it around, and just place it back into your vise. Like that. That would be fine. Don't mind, I'm just going to Place mine back and then just flip it around. Okay. So at this stage I'll be putting in the red flash. You could use so many different colours. Uh, a very popular colour, if, if I had to choose one, I would probably choose a normal pearl or white um, crystal flash. It works well on so many different colours of flies. Um, but in this variation I like using some red flash. Um, very often here the term less is more with flesh and that is so true so we cut off two fibers it's 
quite long. Then we're going to fold them in half. And by pulling tight, we create a loop. That loop I slip over the eye of the hook and pull it up like that. Now I just wrap over them. And at that stage, before I secure them, I just take them to both sides of the hook and then pull them down. If I can get hold of them, that's it. And then I just secure them like that. At this stage, I'm going to trim them. To the length slightly longer or slightly shorter than the length of the tail that's fine if it's slightly shorter or slightly longer or, or if all the fibers aren't exactly the same length that's fine as well I actually prefer all the, uh, the flash fibers not to be cut exactly the same length it just looks more natural but that's just a personal tires point of view I don't think the fish actually even see that um, Okay, and then um, for the overwing, just some tan bucktail. I'm going to cut off about the same amount that I did for the, for the underwing. For the overwing, the colors can be varied. You could use this tan, a um, very popular color is chartreuse or even pink. Here in South Africa, a very popular color is olive, olive over white, as we call them. So you can really play around. So. Just cut the tips so that they are flush, and then also hold the end of the of the tips of the bucktail like that, and then I just pull out any excess hair fibers. So you lift with that. Now measure against the length of the underwing. If there's one or two fibers that's slightly longer, that's fine as well. Just want it to be the same length as the, the, over, uh, the underwing. Then pinch it in place and make about two or three wraps like that. At this stage, I'm going to pull them up. flash as well, pull everything up, and just come in behind them once, just make another wrap over them like that, that would just help secure them, also flares them open a little bit. Okay, at this stage be careful of not cutting your the thread wraps, just lift the fibers and very carefully, even if you have to make a couple of cuts, cut them off. Make sure that, that you have no fibers that are obstructing the eye of the hook. There's nothing more frustrating than having fish smashing around and you can't get the fly on the leader because the eye um, has been covered up with bucktail. Okay, so at that point, I'm just going to pull back the fibers and just create a nice tapered head on the fly, like that. Now take your whip finishing tool, do two strong whip finishes, pull a little bit tight between them, just to tighten the nail knot. and remove the thread. So now get hold of your head cement, UV glue, whatever you're gonna to use to seal the head. It's very important to seal the head on these saltwater flies. It just adds so much durability to the fly. Um, the last thing you want is after every fish having to replace your clouser. So just put a nice drop on the top, nice drop bottom and then just use the tip to spread it all around. Now just seal that with your UV torch. 
seal it, rotate. This is where rotary mask comes in very handy. Right. <clears throat> so at this stage the fly is perfect. It's done. Uh, you can fish it like that. But I prefer adding a little bit of barring. So just pick up all the wing fibers and holding them tight, take your permanent marker and just add a line there, a line there. That's it. just some slight boring. Just want to take it out of the vise, just put it there for you guys to see. I hope that you guys enjoyed the video and uh, please join us again for our next fly time tutorial. Um, once again, cheers from Into Fly Fishing.